Good morning. I'm going to read Daniel chapter 3, verses 14 through 18. It says, Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you refuse to serve my gods or to worship the gold statue I have set up? I will give you one more chance to bow down and worship the statue I have made when you hear the sound of the musical instruments. But if you refuse, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace. And then what god will be able to rescue you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. Now, I think this is one of the greatest statements of faith in scripture. Um, I can't help but wonder if I would have had the courage that and faith that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had um, when they were faced with this particular trial and struggle. Um, when they were facing down this requirement that would compromise their belief in God, they willingly disobeyed and they made their statement to the king. <clears throat> There are a couple of things uh, to note about their statement <clears throat> that we probably all show, also should remember as well in mean, the statement of faith that they make. First of all, their statement wasn't so much one of defiance of the king as it was faith in God. When pressured by society to conform, when society pushes us to do what everybody else is doing, it's tempting to take a defiant posture to just defy and say, we won't ever do that. Um, but this statement that they make isn't about defiance. It's about faith. You know, for us, it ought to be the same. We shouldn't be thinking of how we can defy what society is saying we should be thinking about how we can glorify God. So that's the first thing that I see in this statement. The second thing is <clears throat> their statement expressed faith that God would deliver them, but it also recognized that God might choose differently. God really doesn't want to be put in a box. He doesn't want us to tell him what he needs to do. Um, he doesn't want us to manipulate him by saying, we're going to be in this circumstance and God, you will do this. Uh, their statement expressed the possibility that God might not do what they wanted him to do. Third, their statement of faith is not dependent upon their desired outcome. Sometimes when we approach God, we approach him with conditional statements. If, then. It's a condition. God, if you heal me, then I will follow you faithfully. God, if you provide for my financial need, then I will make sure that I serve you for the rest of my days. Conditional statements. If, then. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego don't do that. They don't say, if God delivers us from the fire, then we will never bow down. No. They simply make a statement that even if our God doesn't save us, even if he doesn't do what we expect, we will never bow down and serve your gods will serve our one true God. Pray with me. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the relationship that we can have with you where with our expression of faith we can testify to the world to the goodness of our God. 
Help us this day to glorify you. Not seeking so much to defy that which is against you, but seeking how we might glorify you, even as we are pressured to do differently. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow.